Saturday, August the 13th. Just came down on the boat. So, heard that there were a couple of strangers on the boat. Wanted to come down and see what was going on here. And, uh, I don't, I don't know what, uh, what exactly is going on here. But these guys really, they really made a mess. Oh, look at that. There we are. New Beta 35. It's not hooked up yet, but it's here. <laughs> After all this time. So, it's August. Um, I haven't had the boat out since beginning of March. Five months or so. Uh, engine's been on order since longer than that. So, finally, uh, finally here. The Volvo Penta's out. The bait is in. And... Pretty soon we'll have this uh, su sucker uh, all hooked up and uh, we will be back in action. All right, initial uh, observations. So um, basically I've ever talked to the mechanic that processes drop the, after you pull the Volvo Penta out, put the new engine in, they basically, they kind of dry fit it to see where it sits on the engine mounts and whether they need to uh, make any modifications to the stringers um, so they can get the geometry right between the um, engine, the V drive, and the prop shaft. So that's got to all be at the right angle. Um, so they might need to build down or tear down the stringers or make some modifications, um, or even potentially get different different uh, motor mounts to figure out uh, how the engine is going to sit. So that could be a little bit of work. Um, the old Volvo panel, the piece of tape over the little buzzer because it kept buzzing even though there wasn't an issue wrong with it we got a new panel in there It'll be nice all right saturday september 3rd we're on the boat uh i haven't been here quite as much since we've been going through the repower but i'm super excited today we're getting so close look at this here's the engine room the uh Engine room has been repainted. There's my new seawater strainer. Super easy to inspect. And that should be pretty easy to work with. Um, we'll see how if I have to move that hose out of the way a little bit for the for the bilge strainer. There's my new exhaust. So uh, the mechanic put on a new uh, new new uh, water lift muffler, and there's new hose going out to the exhaust. We'll zoom out just a hair so you can see that over here on this bulkhead uh, by this uh, fire extinguisher used to be dual ray cores or uh, sorry, dual uh, doll 101 fuel water separators that were almost impossible to change. They, they were pretty much impossible to change underway if you are bouncing around. So that's been deleted. Um, here's the beta 35. All nice and uh, shiny and new. There's the engine mount. So they did a little bit of glass work on the stringers to get the engine aligned. Here's the uh, raw water intake. Um, we're actually, I think this is three quarters. We're actually going to have to put in a bigger through hole here. And we'll do that when we do the haul out. So the engine's looking great. Um, looks like the uh, secondary fuel filter is over on uh, the other side, I believe, but here's the oil filter down here. So we got rid of the remote oil filter that uh, um, I ordered, but it really, we didn't need it. It just created uh, created more, more problems. So we pulled that out. So this is cleaned up. We had a lot of valves and crash pump and all that stuff and just too much complexity. So we ripped most of that stuff out, we didn't need it. So now let's take a look at the, uh, take a look at the, the front, which is of course in backwards. So you're about, it might be backwards. So we're on the, towards the bow side of the boat, but this, this is a V drive. So the prop shaft actually is coming up this way and then backwards. So there's a dripless seal down there. Uh, so this is the V-Drive v transmission, um, and we've got brand new shifter cables in. 
So it looks like the mechanic installed this, all the exhaust um, with the riser and mixing elbow, all of that's in. Um, looks really nice. And then look at this. We've got a Raycor, I think this is a Raycor 500 uh, fuel water separator. So this is the primary. What I love about this right here is it's just super accessible. So if I need to deal with this underway, I can get to it. Uh, I can inspect it pretty easily. Super nice. I'm really excited about that. And again, like uh, they, you know, he they painted in here and cleaned that up. So the, you know, the stringers, everything is uh, painted. Looks real nice and uh, clean in here, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm real excited about that. Now. My guess is they've already fired the engine up, so they've already primed all the fuel and they've got everything hooked up. And there's a there's a little note that says that the uh, raw water intake uh, through hole is closed. So they've they've already put on the console, and let's uh, let's go take a look at that. One question I have is I have a NEMA 2000. Uh, module which will allow me to hook up and get access to for my electronics to um, see on the chart plotters and all of that like the the engine vitals in addition to uh, seeing it at the console which is pretty cool and I don't know if the mechanic did anything with that or not so I'll have to see what he did there all right through hole is open the mechanic did do a static test so it says the engine works we're gonna give it a shot ourselves. Throttle's up. We're gonna need a key. Lock the steering. All right, keys. Through hole is on. I think the electric switches are hopefully on. I think that's correct. Let's take a look. Here's our console. I'll put the key in. Let's, it's pretty warm. Let's just do a three second heat. And three, two, one. Okay, now, most likely, the engine switch needs to be turned for the battery, which I believe is this way. Any signs of life? Ooh, one, two, three, start. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I can hear flow. First thing is to check flow overboard. By the way, this engine is a lot quieter than that Volvo Penta 2003. So we've got a total of 1.2 hours on this engine. Everything looks like it's running nominally. Looks like these are backlit. Let's go ahead and kill it. Perfect. All right, another big uh, nerd upgrade. Starlink. Got that so I can work from boat. Uh, I'm seeing 66 megabits down, 12 megabits up. So it's uh, fast enough, the video conference, um, which I do pretty much all day long. So 
this will work uh gave it a good test today working from the boat it's been awesome what's going on debbie Holy crap, we're flying, look at this. 8.3, 8.2 knots. Got a little bit of help though from our friends. This is Wednesday, September 21st. Almitos Bay. Last time I was here, I did the buyer survey for the Dana 24. Four, five, five years ago or so. Uh, it still looks the same. So we passed out of Long Beach. Uh, basically, they've got us towing on a bridle right now. They'll slow us down and then they'll do another hip tie where they come alongside us and then uh, take me into Marina Shipyard. And we'll uh, tie up and wait for the guys to haul us out. There's another boat here on this. Uh, but they lower this, they've got like uh, railroad tracks and they just chalk it up and kind of cart it out. I don't know if they're going to do that or he's one of these cranes to hoist us. That's pretty cool. Submarine. I think I'm going to bounce though because these guys may have me hanging out for a couple of hours before they pull the boat up. And already kind of burned enough time today. So we'll uh, we'll be back at some point, maybe when they launch the, the boat. 